Okay, um, you know, I think I'm going to find a different person. I'm, I'm really not comfortable with this. JD, get out of my way. <laughs> we have to take care of this water leg. Hello, everyone. I'm so happy to see you again today. All right, so the day has finally come. It has taken forever, but I'm going to be moving my horses into the brand new barn. The barn is not completely finished yet, but it's definitely done enough where they can move in. They've been living in the pasture for a while, so I imagine they're probably going to be happy to go back into their stalls. I sort of also need to do an audit of how many horses I have. <laughs> that sounds horrible, but I get gifted quite a few horses. And where I do appreciate it so much, you guys, I can't possibly keep them all. But rest assured, if you do give me a horse, I promise I will find the best home ever for it if I'm not able to keep it. So I'm so glad you can be here. I'd love hanging out with you. So let's go ahead and get started. Just finishing up my breakfast now. It's so yummy. And Archie, where are you? Oh, Archie, don't you want your breakfast? <laughs> the doggy door is closed, so I don't know where he would... Oh, he must be out there. Okay. That's fine. He's probably just running around. Yeah, Um. speaking of which, I got these awesome doggy doors put in for Archie. It's really, really cute to see him use them, too. If I can find him. And, um. oh, yes, I've made more progress on the house. Yes, I do have plants coming in. Don't question it. <laughs> I like the natural feel. And then over here, this is how I decided to do my staircase. I think it looks really, really good. And it doesn't take much space either, which is really nice. But there's nothing up here yet. <laughs> this will be where my bedroom is. And uh, maybe, I don't know what else. We'll figure it out. Okay, I wanted to show you how Archie goes through his door, but I don't know where he's at. Archie! Come here, boy! <laughs> all right hey at least he finally showed up it's kind of strange but oh well all right um, let me show you how he uses his door real fast isn't that cute <laughs> oh he's just jamming around you're excited today oh goodness i gave him a talent where he's really fast and i kind of regret doing that because now he just zooms around like crazy anyway we're gonna start our day by checking my mail and after that, we'll get all the horses out and kind of see who we have and who's going to go where. I'm so excited to get them in the barn. Ready to go check the mail, Arch? Come on, let's go walk out to the mailbox. Let's go. It's kind of a long walk, but that's okay. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> and then he just teleports out. So much for the doggy door. Goodness. Good morning, my baby cows. I'll come back and feed you in just a minute, okay? I know you're probably starving. And same for you, piggies. I still need to redo these pens, too. I have so many things to do. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it is such a pretty day. I love pretty sunny days. And this bridge needs some work. I do love the bridge a lot, but I want it to match the house and the barn. I'll just have to redo some things on it. Hi, horses. You're going to be in your new barn today. Are you excited? Oh, they're so beautiful. I love seeing them all together like this. It makes me so happy. I bet they'll be glad to be in their soft shavings again. Okay. Oh my goodness. It looks like we have quite a bit of mail today. UJD, your new animals from the rescue. And some mail from Beck. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, so let's take this. And see what this letter has to say. Dear JD, hello. I hope you are doing well. I am writing to you to say that I appreciate how kind and thoughtful you are. Say hi to all your lovely horses for me. Sincerely, Beck. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Beck. That's so sweet. Beck is an admin and she is amazing. Oh, thank you, Beck. Okay, let's see. We got llamas. Oh, I don't have any llamas yet. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been wanting llamas. And then a cow. Thank you so much, Cyber Cody. I sincerely cannot wait to see the llamas, my very first ones. I'm so happy. Thank you. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Oh, from Deboot. Yeah, I'm really late on this one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So we've got another llama. Oh my gosh. And some melon juice and a halter. Okay, cool. Well, thank you, Deboot. I really appreciate it. Now I'm going to have from zero llamas to five. <laughs> 
Okay, we've got a horse in here. It does not say who it's from. Oh, this is so pretty with all the flowers. We'll just take all these real quick. Here we go. And we've got our swim horse here. Well, thank you for the horse. I don't know who gave it to me, but I appreciate it. Okay, and this is from Lindsay Cat Lover. Is it a cat? It's mangoes and a cat. <laughs> mangoes and chestnuts. That's cute. I'll have to name the cat Mango. That's a cute name. Thank you very much, Lindsay. Even though I have so many cats already. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, last one. Again, it doesn't say who it's from. It just says they won't be able to raise it. So let's see what it is. It's a swim horse. Okay. We definitely have uh, quite a few new friends to meet. So I guess we'll do that before we move the horses into the barn. Okay, Archie, let's head back inside. And I want to see all these new pets. All right, guys, you're just gonna have to wait a little bit longer. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll spawn them in in the paddock. That way we can at least get a good look at them. So the first one we're gonna spawn, uh, looks like, okay, a llama. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I honestly have not even come into contact with llamas very often, so it's adorable. <laughs> oh, a little tan and white one. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay, so this one's a twin to that one. Oh, a full colored one. That's cool, there's no white markings. Wow, they're so adorable. <laughs> and this little mini cow. Aww. It looks like my other babies. Alright. So we've got the horse, the cat, another horse, and another llama. Okay, this is the last llama. Oh my gosh. Whoa. These colors are cool. It looks like, uh, is it granite? The block that kind of looks like that? Granite would be a good name for this llama. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. I love them. Now I have another pen I have to build. I'm so far behind on building my pens. Cyber Cody also gave me a bunch of pandas. It looks like we have two boys and two girls so far. You're the tiebreaker. And it's a boy. So we have three boys and two girls. I'm so glad to have llamas. They're so cute. And here is the horse. Oh. What's that U.S. on its shoulder? Is this from Warhorse or something? And it's not tame yet, it doesn't look like. Wow, that's a neat coat. And oh, the other swim horse is a foal. Well, it looks like Ginger is going to be fostering again. She's a great foster mama, so it's okay. I'm sure it won't be a problem. Thank you guys again for the okay. And Mr. over there just decided to poop right into the camera. Thank you for that. Uh, thank you again for all these gifts. They're so amazing. Oh my gosh, I just realized I forgot the cat. <laughs> I've got to see the cat. Okay, so here is the kitty. Oh my gosh, Mango would be a perfect name for this cat. It looks like a mango. Is that why you put those in there, Lindsay? <laughs> but seriously, Mango would be a really, really cute name for him or her. So cute. Thank you. Okay, now let's get our morning officially started. I've got to feed the pigs, the chickens, and the cows. <laughs> They're all very hungry. Hey guys! Good morning! Oh, you're all so cute! Hey, Mrs. Squishy. Where's Mr. Squishy? Where are you at, mister? There you are. Hey, buddy. There you go. Enjoy some yummy breakfast. <laughs> Okay, that's one pen down. Now, how about you guys? You need to move. Wait, where are you going? Your food's over here. Yeah, now you want back in, huh? Come here. Silly cow. I moved him from my other mo mushroom mushrooms because he's a very rare color. It's hard to get this brown mushroom. I've tried breeding him over and over and over with no luck, so I just named him Mud Pie, and now he is in the front pens with my other special cows. He is retired. Okay, on to the chickens. And the big cows out there, I don't really need to feed them because they have all that grass that they eat. I do give them hay every now and then, but... 
Hello, Rockstar. What are you guys all doing? Why are you just standing in the corner? <laughs> are you in timeout or something? Here is some breakfast for you guys. I'll fill this thing up. They'll have it gone in no time. These things eat like crazy. Okay, no, stay. Stay. If you want to get outside, go out into your run. Go eat. Here they go. They're going to go eat. Okay, and we have the bunnies. Can't forget them. Hello, Chungus. Are you stuck? Come here. There you go. Poor guy. Here is some food for you guys. Oh, I love this floppy ears. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, go eat your food. They do eat hay, right? <laughs> like, oh, I'm a terrible bunny owner. Okay, I th who are you? You're a cool looking chicken. Oh, that's just a vanilla chicken, huh? With the resource pack, they look different. Looks cool. Okay, anyway, I am gonna go grab the horses now and bring them up here so we can get their stalls. All right, guys. Let's see who I can find first. There's Venture, I see. Hey, Venture. Here we go. Girl. And over here we've got Mystery. Hey, Mystery. Here we go. And this is Sky. Sky was actually given to me just this week. Thank you, Jax Tracy, for gifting her to me. We thought that Sky and Venture would be really good friends. And honestly, they clicked immediately as soon as they were introduced. They seemed to really get along. So I actually tried her on some mounted archery and she did amazing. I also jumped her. She's not even highly trained, but she is the sweetest soul. So I, I really, really like her a lot. So thank you again, Jax. So for now, I'm going to wait on getting her a stall. Let's grab... Hi, Magic. Hey, buddy. And since Domino's standing right here, come here, Domino. Okay. Oh, I lost the other two girls? Oh, no, I didn't. All right. So we'll start. Oh, my gosh, the pony is stuck. The pony is being dragged. <laughs> I have two ponies out here now? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The big wave of horses. We fit through this gate. There we go, everybody squeeze. Oh my gosh, <laughs> leading so many horses at once. Don't get stuck. Oh, Domino, we lost you. Look at your new house. It's so big. Let's leave them right here for now. Is that everybody? Oh, it looks like Venture and Mystery are tied together. Here, scooch over. Oh my gosh, they're so tangled. Scoot over, Domino. Adventure, you get your booty in there. Okay. Uh, Mystery, I guess you can just stand there. Let's get the next batch. Hey, Winnie girl. And Mr. Gus. There you go. Who's up here? Riddick. Excuse me, cows. Oh, we cannot forget Jeff. Come here, Jeff. Magic's going to freak out if he doesn't have you. Gluey. Come on, Gluey. All right, we'll take this batch. See what I mean? <laughs> Ridiculous amount of horses. I'm... Oh my gosh, I lost literally everybody. What the heck? Okay, we're good. Now that I have so many horses, I think I'm finally ready to really pursue my breeding program. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how many mares and stallions we have. All right. Magic, I have Jeff for you right here. Come here, Jeff. You just hang out right here, okay? We're missing two more. Okay, where is Ginger and Meadow? Where are you guys? Are you back here? Oh my gosh, Ginger! Meadow! <gasps> Is Ginger okay? Come here, Meadow. Back up. Come on, come on. Good girl. Ginger! Oh my gosh, what happened? Poor girl, how long have you been like this? Oh 
Oh gosh. Come here. Come here, Ginger. Come on, good girl. Come on. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Come on. She's stuck. Come on, girl. You can do it. Come on. Come on, Ginger. I'm so sorry. Come here. Um, there we go. Good girl. You did it. Come on. Oh my gosh. Meadow was just here with her. Are you okay? Let me look her over. I mean, I don't see any visible injuries. I'm so sorry, girl. I don't think she was in there very long. She's not even really breathing all that hard. Ugh, thank goodness I came when I did. That could have been so bad. Oh, my pretty girl. I'm so sorry. Gosh, talk about a jolt to the system. Jeez, that could have been so much worse. All right, come on, guys. I think I'll have Oren come and check her out just to be doubly sure she's fine. But like I said, I don't see anything. Luckily, it's not super cold out because I would be worried about her being too cold. I do want to get this wet blanket off of her, though. There we go. Okay, come on, Meadow. <laughs> Look at all of them together. I don't think I've ever had them all out together like this, ever. So this is pretty crazy to see. Just a big jumble of horses. Oh! <laughs> and then there I am not even realizing, oh, not leading them anymore. Come here. Okay. Got quite the mess here. Um, how best to do this? So let's separate the mares and the stallions slash geldings. So obviously Venture is a mare. Okay, Riddick, you are a stallion. Bluey, you are a stallion. Magic and Gus, you're boys, and Domino is a boy. Okay, so this oh, Spartan. Sorry, Spartan. Spartan is also a stallion. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six stallions. And one, two, three, four, five mares. And that's not counting my back barn. And then of course I have Miss Sky still in the pasture. So let's get these horses into their spots that I know they're gonna be in. So number one, Venture. And here is your new home. I hope you love it. And this horse, I don't know where it came from. Somebody left it um, near the front of the property. So it'll probably be going to the lost and found. But here is your new stall, Miss Venture. I hope you love it. Already got your water there. And what happened to your feeder? Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to have to make sure to put feeders in here. Did I only do that on this side? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, oops. Scatterbrained. Thought I was ready. Okay, next door to Venture is Meadow. Sorry, Med. Come on. Here's your new st Oops. <laughs> you cannot back in that way. Come here. Don't you want to be next to Mom? We've got three generations. Well, we're about to have three generations right here. Because Winnie's going right next door. Okay, I'll grab Winnie and Ginger together because they're going to be neighbors. Although, I'm kind of wondering if I should put Ginger next to Meadow. Meadow seemed to be really, really worried about Ginger. I wonder if they named that horse Ginger because it's literally Ginger's twin. <laughs> that could be the case. Okay, so hold tight, Ginger. Put Meadow in here, or not Winnie in here. You guys look so much alike. And Miss Ginger, you're gonna go right next door. I'm gonna see if I can get Orin here. Give him a call. Especially because I have that foal that I want her to have too, but I wanna make sure she's all right. Okay, mystery. You are the last one in the barn. Last mare, I should say. I still have plenty of room in the outside stalls. There you go, mystery. Hopefully you can't be an escape artist from here. 
Okay, oh my gosh, they look so nice and happy. Oh, so excited. Hey, girls. Okay, now let's go grab all the boys. So first stall is magic, and then I believe next to magic, who did I have before? I think it was Domino. No, it was Gus. I feel like if Gus was further down, I don't know. I think I actually color coordinated their feeders, so maybe that'll give me a hint. What do you guys think? Big, huh? Yeah, Gus is right next door. Okay, hang tight. Don't wander off too far. Good boy. Here you go, Mr. Gus. I think I want to do a reversal on Gus. <laughs> a reverse, uh, a reverse geld. <laughs> oh, Jeff, we got to take you to Magic, quick. He'll be so mad. Okay, Magic, here's Jeff. I'm so sorry. There we go. He's your friend. I know you love him. I think right next door to um, Gus, I have Gluey here. Mr. Ash. I need to put all their signs back up too. So I only have two spots left and three horses to go. I think, oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you guys. I took Spartan to his very first dressage lesson. I'll show you guys some footage of that right now while I put him in his stall. But he did so good. He definitely took to it. And I mean, honestly, look how gorgeous he looks. Total dressage horse. Oh so, yeah, he did absolutely beautifully. The lesson was so much fun. Um, Beck Bird led it. And she actually has her own channel, Rebecca Ravenbird. She does Star Stable Dressage. And it's her club that I'm in actually, Emerald Hunters. So if you're into dressage at all, especially Star Stable Dressage, I highly recommend looking up her channel. She is amazing at what she does. Okay, Mr. Domino, you are going to go into the final stall. Okay, so that's all of the inside barn full of horses. Love it. Okay, so Riddick, you are going to go into the outer stalls. Why is Monday still here, Orin? <laughs> it's Orin's donkey Monday. I have no idea why he's here still. But it's not surprising, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and put Sky into one of the outdoor stalls as well. It's such a pretty color. It's almost like a blue roan, just painted. There we go. Okay, now let's go check the back barn. Okay, Oren just let me know that he's on his way, so I'm gonna go ahead and take Ginger out front so that he can go ahead and look her over and make sure she's okay. Oh, uh, hi, JD. What's going on? So it was Ginger. She is right over here. I was bringing all the horses in to the new barn and I found her swimming in the pond. I don't know how long she had been there. Oh, hi, Ginger. Were you becoming ginger ale by swimming in that water uh -huh, uh -huh. anyway let me check you over wow look at you aren't you red well you have some well-defined muscles oh your pectorals are so bulbous it looks like there's no water in her nostrils no water in her eyes no water in her ears okay so you think she's okay then well, let me just check one more area. Oh, there's water in her foot. We're going to have to do an emergency session. What I need you to do is keep her still. Well, is it going to hurt? Yes, very bad. No, Oren, what? It's okay. It'll drain the water. What do you mean by water in her foot anyway? What does that mean? She has the water leg. Water leg is the most dangerous thing for a horse. I have never heard of water leg. What does that even mean? Well, it's when you have water in your leg. But how did water even get in her leg? Does she have a cut? I have no idea, but we have to drain it instantly. So it's an abscess. It's an emergency. Okay, does she need to go down to the clinic? No, we can do it right here. But she needs some sort of um, anesthesia or, you know, numbing medicine or something. Anna, what a? Aren't you a vet? I was vetted for this, yes, that's true. 
Okay, um, you know, I think I'm gonna find a different person. I'm, I'm really not comfortable with this. JD, get out of my way! <laughs> we have to take care of this water leg! Let me grab my thingamabob. It'll only hurt for a, just one second. I'm, I really don't like, this is not a good idea. Okay, here I go! Oh! Well, now I have water coming from my face, and it's red. Anyway, uh, she should be fine now. Wow, that is a lot of water. What in the world did I just witness? Honestly, I don't even think it hurt her. I think she just doesn't like you. I never said it was going to hurt her. It hurt me. Oh, okay. That makes a lot more sense. Bye, JD. Bye, Oren. Okay, I got everyone successfully moved in. They're settling. I'm going to go ahead and give them the feeders since I forgot that on the mare's side. I am going to give Ginger a couple of days, make sure that she recovers from that very strange procedure before I introduce her to the full. But we'll see how she's doing in a couple of days. Okay, it's been a couple of days. Ginger is acting completely normal. I think she is perfectly fine. I'm so relieved. So I think I'm going to go ahead and move this little foal in with her. I hope that she takes to her well. I have a feeling she will. She's pretty good about that. So the foal has been staying with me in the house <laughs> to keep her nice and cozy and warm. So we're going to move her in with Ginger right now. Come on, little girl. It's all right. I'm going to go meet your new foster mommy. Her color is really cool. She's like fades into these black stockings. I know it's big in here, huh? Kind of scary. I did some remodeling right here. It looks so much better. Look at that. Miss Ginger, I've got another baby for you. I know you love fosters. Ginger. Hey, pretty girl. Come on in, baby. Come on. Where are you going? Okay. Oh, it looks like she's looking at mystery over there. Come here, Ginger. Introduce yourself. What do you think, baby? Huh. I don't know. Maybe we should let Mystery try and foster. What do you think? Maybe Mystery's about ready to be a mama, too. Come on, little one. Are you up for this challenge, Mystery? This little one sure seems to like you. Hey, girl. Well, I think she has chosen her foster mom, and Mystery seems totally cool with it. I'll jump up here and look. Good girl, Mystery. Okay. Awesome. I think they're a good pair. So we're just going to let these guys chill out together, and uh, we'll see how this little one grows up. That'll be interesting. So we finally got everyone moved in. I'm still going to continue renovations on the barn. I'm really happy with the progress. I think everyone looks like they're settling in really well. Next week, I'll show you what that little baby grows up to look like. And then hopefully I'll have my arena done and we can do something fun. I'll practice my mounted archery and possibly show you that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you so much as always. And until next time, bye.